What's up, everybody? This is Dave Mandanka of The Breakdown Show. What's happening, Audley Stevenson? We're here hanging out with my boy Tim. And, of course, The Breakdown Book. That's the book, that, Dave, that's the book we got out right now, man. Yes, yes. Basketball talk the way it should be. Everybody's got to get it. Groups fans are going to love it. It's got great quotes from our past guests. Funny, inspiring, all rolled up into one. Yeah, the be- and the best part about it is that we're supporting a couple of great charities uh, that are near and dear to our heart. Uh, and, yeah, proceeds are helping them out. Uh, the the uh, Aaron O. Kids Foundation, Epilepsy Halton and Peel. Uh, it's a great cause, man. you got got to support the cause. Exactly. The TheBreakdownBook.com, that's where you get it. I got the notion that uh, they mouth is open and uh, all that's just talking when uh, they ain't comparing to me, they ain't comparing to me, they ain't comparing to me. Take a closer look and you see they ain't comparing to me. Yo guys, what's going on? Back again with Audley and Dave. What's going on, guys? Just chilling, man. Just chilling. Yo, what's up? Let's do this. We had some great debate the first time. Again, buy their book, check it out. Now we're going to go towards the NBA lockout, a lockout that appears seemingly way worse than the NFL one that everyone's worried about, that appears to be coming to a close, hopefully. I I don't necessarily buy that, but back to the NBA. The NBA lockout now, I I did a video with Bruce Blitz a while ago on YouTube about how long this was going to go, and... Most people seem to think that this is going to cost them, I, I think, the entire season next year. And it's really a shame considering what's happened with the NBA and how it's gone. I, I think you could make a serious case that the NBA has taken over baseball as the number two sport. And baseball is my favorite sport, so that's tough to say. But I think that you could make a serious case that right now the NBA has become the second best sport in America or Second most popular, at least. At least people enjoy watching certain parts of it better, I guess. But, uh, we love it here in Canada, too. We love it here in Canada. Yeah. What do you guys... How long do you think the NBA lockout's going to go? Dave, we'll start with you. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I think this thing will end probably... It, it, it'll be similar, I think, to the 98-99 the season. You know, it'll be a short season, like, you know, like a 50-gamer type of thing. Like, it, it's really unfortunate what's happening right now, fellas. And, like, right now, like, one of the big, like, uh, sticking points, one of the big wedges is the fact that, you know, uh, you know, Stern and the owners, they want to implement this flex cap, right? They, they call it a flex cap, but the players are like, wait a second, this is like a hard salary cap, and obviously they don't want it. And David Stern and the owners are crying that they're losing, you know, hundreds of millions per year. So this is something you have to work through, especially that cap, because uh, apparently the NBA is saying they're bleeding money, but the players do not want to let go of that money. So someone's got to bend. I think you need to lean more towards a hard cap because, I mean, even in big cities there's team lo- The Sixers are, must be losing a ton of money. The product out there, they did a decent job this year. Doug Collins, one of the best coaches in the NBA. But that place is empty. There's... 12,000 at best. That's being generous there every night. I mean, I think this is pretty simple. You got to put in something like what the NFL has with the non guaranteed contracts, or you got to reach a certain thing to make this amount of money because I, the Sixers are a perfect example. We're, we're screwed here because the organization is too dumb to trade Andre Gadala and then Elton Brand, no one really wants. And both of those are horrific contracts. And it seems to me like. If you put in this, uh, like, incentive-type contracts, that that would fix a lot of that because you could either get rid of the players or they would be making less money. But what do you guys, uh, what do you think, Audley? Well, you know, it's interesting. You go back to, the, you know, the league apparently a little, I got earlier this week or maybe last week, you know, that leaked out uh, to, through Forbes magazine that, you know, they lost, you know, $1.5 billion in, five, in the last five years. That is ridiculous cash, guys. I mean, it's crazy. But at the same time, you know, the the, the same league that's complaining of losing money is signing, you know, big ticket contract guys like, you know, 
Richard Lewis and Michael Red and Gilbert Arenas and all these guys that are making huge amounts of money. And quite frankly, that, you know, what, what the league is trying to say is, well, we paid them too much, and that's why uh, we're in this situation. But the way I look at it is, hey, I mean, you, you, you paid them the money. Yeah, you're the one that gave them the stupid contract, so you can sit there and complain all you want, but you're the one driving up the prices for players when you're giving these horrible contracts. You're the ones that are signing. You don't Absolutely. have to give and the thing, contracts. And the thing about it is they're doing it to themselves because the mindset, quite simply, is, look, i got to give this guy his $20 million contract because if I don't, another team will. So as much as they, they much as they want to turn to the players and point the fingers at the, the players, it's the owners themselves who are trying to compete with one another and to remain remain competitive. Because remember, we're talking in the open marketplace. You know, what drives costs? What drives dollars in the open marketplace? Well it's competition that does that. So right. You know, you you compete against one another, and and again, you're signing guys because if you don't sign them, someone else will get them. And I get that whole logic, but at the same time, you've also got to recognize by taking that approach, you're driving up the salary dollars. Yeah, you know what's interesting, guys? I'm surprised. See, David Stern and Billy Hunter, both very intelligent men. How come they're not looking at the NFL model? Like Tim, you were saying how you know how it works for the NFL, the cap and all, and really the NBA and the Players Association, they got to take a hard look at how the NFL's done stuff because they have been the model in terms of controlling uh, you know player salaries. This is the league in the NFL. It doesn't matter if you're a pro bowler because the next season you could be gone. Sure. And it's just you know what I mean. The NBA is not like that, not at all. Yeah, look at Albert Hainsworth. I mean, he signed that huge contract. They paid him the guaranteed money, but now he's basically, he's not going to be a Redskin next year, essentially. But, yeah, I mean, that that's what they have to do. And I, I don't know, I, I'm not a huge fan of David Stern at this point. I think he's kind of run his course as commissioner after almost 30 seasons. But I, I don't even know what that, the NBA, part of the problem is they're just not as popular as the NFL. But I, I don't understand why they wouldn't put in a, something similar to what the NB or the NFL has and if the NFL and I don't understand also why it's such an issue to get the NBA players to agree to this type of cap why why do the NFL players do it what makes those NFL players because to them it seems like it almost screws some of them yeah well you know, guys, like the NFL, they're great at sharing that. Right? Like Green Bay Packers, for example, small town team, they can compete. And David Stern, he's like, I want all 30 NBA teams to compete, right? And you would like to think that the players would like to buy into that, but they want their coin. They're used to the system. And, you know, owners shelling out the dough and signing those checks, and they'll take their money home. But I, I don't know. I think the players, they just they want to keep on getting that bigger piece of the pie and. And with the NFL, too, like they get a lot of money in TV deals. I, I, I'm not too, uh, I don't know too much about the NBA TV deals, but the NFL, that's where they make their money. Well, and, and I think something else that needs to be considered and looked at, and I'm, for a second here, I'm going to wave the flag for, for my hometown Toronto Raptors because I, I think they're in a situation where uh, not necessarily a lot of teams across the league are. And, and by saying that, what I'm talking about is the fact that uh, the, the, the Toronto Raptors as a team, not only do they own the team, they also own the arena. So they're not paying rent to an arena that is they own. In addition to that, they also own a digital media channel. So the, they've got the Toronto Raptors. Now it's NBA TV Canada, but it was Raptors TV, and 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 that provided a coverage for a lot of the games. And you know, again, that's not a third party that you're going to have to pay for that additional coverage. So I think there's some uh, uniquenesses in the setup here in Toronto that that make the. And, and I'm not saying that you know that they're they're plus. They might be in the red a little bit as well. But I mean, at least you know it, it's not as bad. It helps to stomach a bit of that. And uh, I mean that that might be something to take in consideration. Like maybe more teams got to take ownership of where the teams play. Yeah, the TV deals. I, I think we see it in baseball. The Yankees make most of their money. That stadium is not full every single night, but they make most of their money off the Yes Network. And the, the TV deal certainly does not hurt. And owning the arena, I mean, the Sonics basically left because they didn't own their own arena, and that people. They, they couldn't come up with enough money to fix it, and they're, they're in Oklahoma City now, which 
probably ended up being better for them. But uh, any last thoughts you guys want to get in on the NBA lockout? I just hope it ends, man. I mean, I just want to listen. At the end of the day, I'm a fan more than anything else, and I just want to see NBA basketball. Uh, you know, the, the fact that I'm hearing players, like we saw Darren Williams, you know, talking, to get, you know, head, heading over to Turkey. Uh, yeah. You're hearing Landry Fields say about the fact it might be a trend and more players That's are going right. over. You know, I, I, I get guys got to play and guys got to earn a living, but, you know, hey, the NBA is where you belong as I see it, and I just want to see ball played, and I want these guys yeah. to fix it. I, you know, I, I don't have the answer. I'm not going to pretend to have the answer. Uh, but you know, when you look across the table, at the end of the day, you know, what it, it almost feels like you know, you know that uh, the you, you're choking that goose that's laying the golden eggs. That's what it feels yeah. like. And it's, it's, guys, you, you gotta fix this, man. Come on. Yeah. Well, I have one message uh, for both Mr. David Stern and Billy Hunter, fellas. Give peace a chance. Oh, gee. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a. Make it happen, man. Make it happen. That's a Dave and Donk original right there. Make <laughs> it happen. Give Keith a chance, man. Hey, Tim, you know what? One quick thing I want to throw out there as well is that um, I, I want to ju jump back to our book real quickly because I'm going to ensure that you, I'm going to send you a link that you can share with your listeners for your listeners to get some of the sample chapters of our book. That's thebreakdownbook.com, uh, Basketball Talk the Way It Should Be. It's a great core cool book. I want to give them an opportunity to get a sample and get a taste. So I'm going to make sure you get that. I'm going to send that to you so you can share that out to your listeners. All right, I will make sure that is put out there. Thanks a lot.